Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got some exciting news for all of the Samsung users out there. Samsung has just released the official One UI 6.0 for your Galaxy Z Flip 4 phone here in the US. And it brings a bunch of new features. We're diving right in, so make sure you stay tuned until the end for all the details. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. Alright, so we just installed the update. We're going to wait for the phone to finish optimizing the apps and then we'll be right back to go over all of the new features that come with Samsung One UI 6.0 for the Galaxy Z Flip 4. Okay, so we finished updating the phone. First thing you want to do anytime you do an update is go into your Galaxy Store and check for any updates and make sure that you update all of the apps that are showing so that way they have all been optimized for the latest release. Okay, one of the standout features in this update is the new button layout. The quick panel has a new layout that allows you to access features you use the most, such as Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. They have their own dedicated buttons at the top of the screen. Buttons appear in the middle of the screen for easy customizations. And then the dark mode and eye comfort have been moved to the bottom of the display. Swiping down from the left of the screen will show you your quick toggles. If you swipe from the right, that will enable the quick panel. You now have the ability to access the brightness control from the compact or the full quick panel. You can do this by swiping down then selecting edit from the quick panel display and enable brightness control. The updated music player now shows album art that covers the whole media player, whether listening to music or playing a video. It also shows a waveform while the music is playing to give you the progress of the track. Another feature worth mentioning is the enhanced notifications. You now have the notifications as a separate card as well as showing a more vivid notification icon. You can also sort your notifications by time instead of priority, so most recent notifications are displayed on the top. Okay, let's talk about the lock screen. Another welcome addition is the ability to reposition the clock on your lock screen. You can now resize and reposition the clock as you'd like. There are also several new clock faces or fonts that you can utilize. You also have the ability to change the color so you can customize the lock face as you desire and make it yours. Several changes have been made to the camera app. Quick setting buttons have been added to the preview screen to be simpler and more intuitive.
Okay, jumping into the camera settings, we can see many new updates that have been made. The first update that we'll talk about is the ability to auto scan documents. This is now a feature where you can point the camera at a document and it will auto capture and scan so that it can be sent. Under the advanced intelligent options, we now have the ability to optimize the quality, allowing us maximum, medium, or minimum, depending on the speed and quality you desire. We now have the ability to use the watermark and change certain aspects such as the name, the time, the date, the font, as well as the alignment. A new camera widget has been added to the home screen allowing you to set the type of shooting mode. Just press and hold down on the home screen, select the camera widget and add. You can change the title on the widget to something custom. You can change the shooting mode. So each time you click on the shortcut, it will open up in that mode. You can also change the background to the most recent, or you can customize. Once done, click save, and you can have multiple widgets on your home screen for different modes. Several updates and enhancements have been made to the Samsung Gallery. You can swipe up from a picture or video and make quick edits, such as remaster and object eraser. The two-handed drag and drop feature is also available so you can easily move a photo from gallery and share via text or other sharing options. 
When clipping an image, you can easily save it as a sticker and share it as well. And there you have it. That's just a few of the new updates and enhancements that One UI 6.0 brings to the Galaxy Z Flip 4. Stay tuned for more videos on additional features in Samsung One UI 6.0. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to smash that like button as it helps the channel get more content out to all tech enthusiasts. Subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification so you're updated when new videos are released. YouTube suggests you check out these videos for similar content. Thanks again for watching.